the multi-view component is a great example of a component that knows how to best present itself use, by querying the behavior services to put itself in the right position depending on the type of user interface or, or conventions of that form factor. So a real simple example would be a master detail form where on a, of, on a tablet in landscape mode you would generally have the, the master docked and always visible with the detail always visible on the right side. And so this is your common UI paradigm for a tablet in landscape mode. But that same application on a phone in portrait mode, you don't have as much real estate. Generally, your view is made up of the detail. But to get back to the master list, you would use something like a drawer navigation or a popover to access that list, list and then move it out of the way so that you can see the detail page. So the multi-view component is, a, is an example of how to present itself based on not only the form factor, but the UI conventions of that form factor. So this is a great example app that we shipped that shows you the multi-view component at work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just render this for the iOS simulator and we're going to target the iPad and take a look at this multi-view component in action. Okay, so we have the app running in the iPad. So the first thing I'd like to show you is that it knows to use the platform behavior. Here the app is presented in portrait mode. So in portrait mode, the master part of the app, the detail, is presented as a menu that can pop out as a drawer. And we can also set the sliding mode to pushing, for example, so that it will push the detail form out of the way as it comes in. Now when we switch this to a tablet uh, mode or a landscape mode, notice that the platform behavior is to dock it. So this is an example where the platform uh, behavior knows where to best present itself depending on the form factor orientation of that device. Now we can also uh, override the platform behavior and for example I can say make this a popover. And Now it can present itself as a popover uh, within this view here or I may ask it to present itself as a drawer. And so these are things that I can override as a developer. But if I decide to use the, the platform behavior, which is the default, then you're going to go ahead and get the docked panel in your landscape mode. And in your portrait mode, you're going to get the default drawer.